and what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button join the growing family turn notifications on while you're down there and also while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out so my hair is a bit damp still i did blow dry it but it got too hot for my neck so i had to stop so please bear with me on that today we're talking about clonazepam versus diazepam what the difference is, how they were, etc, etc. It's a comparison video. So let's start things off with what I know best, and that is clonazepam. Clonazepam is used to treat anxiety disorder, insomnia, and manage bipolar symptoms. I have personally taken clonazepam for around four years. Oh, I'm so lightheaded. Wow. Oh, fuck me. Please don't think. <laughs> I think I'm okay. And that, everybody, is what living with pots is like. So yeah, I've taken clonazepam for a long time. And yes, before people come at me and say, you're not supposed to be on them a long time, they're addictive. Or whatever crap you want to say. My psychiatrist has kept me on the lowest dose for the last two years since I came out of the hospital and before that I lived in Kingston and my psychiatrist there was happy to prescribe clonazepam. So let's hop into this comparison. I took diazepam, diazepam was the first benzodiazepine I tried and I was on 2 milligrams to start with, then 5 milligrams, then 10 milligrams. The 10 milligrams worked for me but it wasn't that effective at managing my hallucinations and all of that stuff. Whereas clonazepam does help with my hallucinations, it calms it down which is why I take, I still take clonazepam. So is either drug more addictive? Both benzodiazepines have the potential to cause physical or psychological dependence. So one key thing to remember is clonazepam is a long acting benzodiazepine. It acts immediately, so it calms you down pretty fast. Whereas diazepam stays in the body for a significantly longer time. So side effects. Clonazepam and diazepam are associated with most of the same side effects, which include depression, dizziness, drowsiness, fatigue, muscle weakness. They honestly work very similar to each other. They're both benzodiazepines, which is the same class of medication. They have the same side effects. They can both cause addiction. What I want to say in this video is what works for one person might not work for the other person. So, as you guys know, Alana. If you don't know who Alana is, I'll link her on the iCard. Alana is my friend. She takes diazepam and it works really well for her. When I took diazepam, I had to wait until I got put up to 10 milligrams for it to really start working. But then I went into hospital and switched it to clonazepam and that worked much better for me. So for me, clonazepam is my lifesaver. I take it twice a day and it works very well for me. So yeah, I'm not going to say one's better than the other because like I said, they work differently for different people. For me personally, diazepam doesn't work for me. I take clonazepam and lorazepam PRN. Just the lorazepam PRN, because I take lorazepam twice a day, like I said. Now, in my experience with benzodiazepines, they all work differently. So lorazepam, clonazepam, diazepam, Xanax, any other type of benzo that I'm not, I can't remember the name of, they all have their own ways of working. Some are better for sleep, some are better for anxiety, some are better for panic attacks, some are better for paranoia and hallucination. They all make you relax. 
benzodiazepines are sedating medications. But in my experience of diazepam, I was never able to sleep on it. It did calm me down, but its effects weren't strong enough to help with my anxiety and very quickly my anxiety would build back up and I did not really ineffective, that's why I changed from diazepam to clonazepam. Clonazepam is what works for me, which is why I take it. And I'm aware of the risks of addiction, of becoming dependent upon it. But truth be told, if it's going to help me get through my anxiety and so I can function in a day, I'm more than willing to take the risk. And I think that's it with people who do use benzodiazepines as a way of coping and getting through the day. It's something that we're all aware of the side effects. We're all aware of the potential for addiction and dependence. We don't need reminding of that. We take it because it works. Now, I've been on Clonazepam for four years, I think, and genuinely it made it so I could. When I started Clonazepam, I was amazed at how well it worked for me. I wasn't having panic attacks every day, I wasn't avoiding things because of anxiety. I started eating again. Because that's one thing about me when I'm anxious, I can't eat because I literally throw it all back up straight away. So taking clonazepam helps that with that. I take my clonazepam before I eat, when I go down for food, because I live in supported living. I think the thing we all need to remember is these drugs are prescribed for a reason. It doesn't mean we're addicts. Just because we take these medication don't doesn't mean we're going to become addicted to it. I can go without it, and I have done when they've run out of my medication. Because they do sometimes. Or, what say I want to have a drink of alcohol. Like I did Boxing Day. <laughs> did throw up and was very drunk, but it's all good. Do, 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 do. Don't drink alcohol on benzos, kids. I did, I, I've never drank alcohol while taking benzodiazepines. I uh, don't drink, which is my preferred option. Or like at Christmas this year, last year, I just don't take certain meds. Easy way to have a drink. So yeah. I'm gonna go back to editing this video now. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you're new, subscribe. If you didn't, I have a Patreon where I post once a week as a, a exclusive video. And I'm working on the other perks. So, check it out. I'll link it on the iCard. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.